Hello everybody. Welcome to Adventures in Beekeeping. My name is Dale and I'm just now starting my second year in beekeeping. This, if you remember, is the swarm trap that I got from uh, Agape Wilderness uh, Retreat. And they've been in here since uh, May the 22nd in this uh, uh, double nook, deep nook. And now they are uh, bearding on the front. And I'm not sure what that means. It is a super hot day. Today is uh, June the 27th. So they've been in here about a month. It was almost full when we put them in there. So I know I need to give them either another deep nook or I might even need to change them to a, um, a, a, a double tin frame. We'll see. Um, also, there might be queen, queen cells in here. I don't know. They've been doing really good all along. Uh, but let's dive in here and see what we see. They're pretty excited on the front. Like I said before, they are uh, bearding on the front. And uh, just let's uh, look and see what's going on. I'm expecting to see that they're pretty full. And I'm going to need to, sorry it's shaking, that I'm going to need to add a box or move them to a regular 10 frame hive. I brought 10 frame hive, I brought a nook, uh, so we'll just see what we need. These ladies seem to be calm. I'm just checking the, just checking for the queen here on the This is the small hive beetle trap thing, and it's trapping a few bees. I don't see any small hive beetles on it. That's good. All right. So, are you able to see? Yeah, you see. All right. So let's look and see what we've got here. Go down, go down, lady. Uh, so the, oh my goodness. So the honey flow is still on here in Kentucky and it's um, slowing down a little bit I'm I hear I have plenty of clover in my yard I have plenty of uh, look at that nearly f nearly full of nectar full of nectar Sorry, I keep bumping the camera. All right, this one. This one's heavy too. Oh, brood. And uh, lots of uh, honey up on the sides, but that's full of brood, full of honey. So they've been busy, busy. All right, let's see what we got here. This one's heavy too. It's capped brood, honey, nectar. Looks like I broke open some comb. Must have had some wonky comb. It's dripping all over. But this is, uh, that's nearly sealed nectar with the, uh, oh, that looks like some brood still hanging around in there. So this one looks like one that we put a rubber band on to hold it in place to still have a rubber band here. Another one right here. 
they decide to propolis it in instead of get rid of it. All right, another frame. Full of nectar. Full of nectar. Got a little bit of burr comb there. A little bit of wonky comb over here, but that's from where they had it. And I broke it open so there's some nectar falling down. And this one. This one's probably full of comb, full of nectar also. Yep. Super heavy, full of nectar. Full of nectar's not capped. This side full of nectar. Now I'm curious. Is this brood still hanging in here? Or is that? already capped. Oh, that's brood. So that this here is brood and then all of this is nectar. So they the queen probably has no place to lay eggs. I'm guessing so we definitely need to get some uh, room into this room for this hive. We'll have to look down in the bottom. Oops. Have to look down in the bottom and uh, see uh, there's any space for brood down there or if they may have started to build swarm cells because there's no room here they're honey bound and that's one of the first one of the things I won't say the first but that's one of the things that makes bees want to swarm is that there's no room for them to grow so we're gonna come on ladies I'm gonna squish you in there okay So this top box is full. So a little bit of brood, but mostly nectar and honey. Go ahead and scrape this off. All right. Oops. Yeah, so I opened up some comb, so there's honey running around in there. All right, so now I'll pop this off. This might not make them too happy. I do this. So no uh, swarm cells on the top, from down underneath the top. So that's good. All right. These are nice gentle bees. So far anyway. There's brood. There's a little bit of brood, but it's backfilled 
Back filled with nectar. Brood back filled with nectar. But no swarm cells yet. This is one that would, this is one that, uh, this is one, this is one of the frames that uh, they built themselves and I'm afraid to turn it. I don't see any, uh, for fear it'll fall out, but I don't see any uh, swarm cells. All right. This is going back down in there. This hive is full, full of bees, full, full, full of bees. Yep, these ladies should have had another box maybe last week. Okay, nectar, back filled with nectar. There's a rubber band, back filled with nectar. Nice frame of brood. Look at that. Nice frame of brood. Another nice frame of brood. There's lar eggs. There's larvae. Sorry, not eggs. I have a larvae. Let's see. There's a couple of larvae. So that's good. Oh, my princess squished to be. She didn't get me. So. All right. More brood, more nectar. Brood and nectar, a couple of larvae. All right. I think what I'll do is I'm just going to give these bees, these ladies, uh, another five frame nook. And I'm going to put it in between the bottom. And what what used to be the top? They need room for brood. And what I want to do is pull one of these brood frames up. Yeah, they're bumping me. Ladies. So now pull one of these up into the next nook. Yeah, this is a good brood frame. I pull it up.
okay. Put the new frame probably right in the middle of all the five frames. Maybe I'll put two frames up. them to get off of the edges so that I can put the next box on. So this is a, another five frame nook, and I put the two frames from below here, and these two are empty. as I can. Okay. So, there they have five more frames to work. Honey is up top. Uh, brood and nectar on the bottom. Brood and nectar in the middle. Empty frames in the middle. And I'll probably need to check these in a couple of weeks. See how they're doing. Uh, Alright, back to the uh, original. Inner cover. So some people are saying that the honey flow here in Kentucky is uh, slowing down. That may be true. There's not as many trees and the like, 
but I have white clover in my yard. I have uh, behind me, the guy hasn't mowed his uh, field yet. So there's lots of regular clover and lots of uh, other kinds of um, flora. And then just about a mile away, there's a couple of hay fields that have been mowed, but they still have, they have a, a ton of um, red clover blooming. So they're in range for my bees. All right, let's see what we got here. Hopefully we're still going in about 20 minutes as well. Okay, so they're all lined up on the sides from where I was smoking them. They're on this side. They're all on the front. So I definitely uh, <laughs> messed them up a little bit, but I've given them lots of room and uh, I may have to move them to a 10 frame, uh, but I don't think they need it just yet. So thank you for watching this uh, Dale Adventures in Beekeeping. Uh, God bless and have a great day.